I first met Steve about four years ago now. I was on a fitness retreat and um, didn't have a clue who Steve was. And I was like one of the only people around that did not know who Steve was. Never been in a gym and worked out, as you can probably tell. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I ended up working for this retreat and me and Steve kicked it off pretty well and he asked me to move to the States. It changed my life. Li living with a guy like Steve, you become a better human instantly. Okay. Along came Morgan into the situation. Because we were both Australian, we got on right away. And it was easy to throw shit on Steve then, which felt great for me. Because I was the little bitch, so. You know. <laughs> like, I lived in the guy's house, he paid me, and I just followed him around with a camera. Not really even reading anything I'm written down here. Pretty much missed all my notes. I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. I'm just gonna put on these visuals because I'm just rambling and suck at speaking, so. I made this little video and I just wanted to make it a little bit special for you guys and um, just share a bit of the memories that I've been lucky enough to experience with these beautiful people here tonight. So before I put this on, I'd just like to ask you to raise a glass to these incredible humans and um, I'll see you on the dance floor because I like to dance. So I thought, nope, gotta do, gotta do the vows the day of because it'll be raw and more emotion. And I think that that was probably a 50-50 good idea and bad idea. Are you allowed to be out here? Yeah, I am. Are you allowed to be still doing your vows? They're really good. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. They're only taking you all morning. This is gonna be the best day ever. You come and look so fresh. We are at Rosewood's day. Shake up. I got a red fruit smoothie. James Brown bumping like I'm living in a movie. Look at me. Side effects coming from Molly. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I love that. Nice. That's really nice. We're just what do you say? Thank you. I'm gonna go with it. Oh, baby, pass me the butter. Gonna roll with it. It's gonna be the best day ever. You got me looking so fresh. I can't get no better. Baby, I'm a team. You have no 
one's out here yet, but kind of reminds me of back in the day when I was playing football and we'd have a walkthrough, like a team walkthrough. Come out here and kind of just see where everything's going to be at. I'm going to be sitting here just so we can see everyone and then we're also a part of the table. We're going to have a beautiful arbor up here as well, so we're reusing our flowers. Make sure you do that if you have having a wedding. You've got to reuse your flowers. And we've got our beautiful views outside. Are you ready? I'm ready. You I'm ready? ready? It's absolutely stunning and yeah, it's just everyone's kind of hustle and bustle. I'm just kind of like, let's do it. Let's do it already. Once in a while, right in the middle of ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. I say the fairy tale not only because I truly believe you guys have found your soulmates in each other, but as a couple, you've had some major hurdles thrown your way. Growing restless in the way, searching for a brighter day. Yesterday behind, oh, looking forward into the light. Doing good. People yeah. actually, uh, when we're all showing up, it kind of made me nervous to see people. Shitting myself, quite literally. I feel sick. I was literally fine up until this moment. <laughs> Lulu, you ready? You ready for your big debut? I found you a world brand new. Sky is blue. When I'm with you, I found you a world brand new. Sky is blue. When you first met Steve, I noticed an immediate change in you. Besides the fact that you were clearly head over heels, you had this instant wave of calmness wash over you. It was as if all of your worries had suddenly disappeared because you had finally found your person. Growing up, I always believed two things about you. One, you were always destined to be something great. And two, no boy was ever good enough for you. Steve, you have well and truly proved me wrong. So Steve, um, I think you found yourself one in a billion, this young lady. She's, um, she's smart, strong, confident, loving, but most importantly, loyal. You have a beautiful life ahead together wherever you choose. I wish you all the love and happiness in the world. Be kind, be grateful, never stop giving, and a beautiful life awaits. I found you. nervous genuinely I feel like I'm gonna trip over going down the aisle but we gotta get moving we gotta get moving <laughs>
oh, I'm not going to be able to keep this together. <laughs> Morgan Rose Maroney, you showed up my door three years ago, my personal Amazon package from God. You've changed my life for the better. You're the calm place in the storm, a safe spot where I can be loved as I am. You're someone I can never stay mad at, even when you step on my fresh new Jordan shoes on purpose. You make me laugh till I can't breathe. You are my, ever, you are my forever person, and I would do anything for you. They say what comes easy isn't worth it, and what's worth it doesn't come easy. This couldn't be more true given the past few years we've had. The constant uphill battles we have faced just to be in each other's presence has been tedious and ongoing. But I would never have known what it is like to fight for someone like that otherwise. Morgan Rose, I love the way you live life. Unbridled, unapologetically full of passion and excitement. You're a magnet for fun, but you're so much more than that. And when it comes to adventures like traveling the world during a pandemic, or even a spontaneous party in the kitchen, instead of asking why, you ask why not. I cherish that about you. From blushing at my phone many years ago, to walking down the aisle today and everything in between, you've kept the butterflies fluttering in my stomach from the get-go. You are my biggest role model, my biggest supporter, and my greatest love. Our love story is truly one for the ages. It has grown, endured, and ultimately overcome the toughest of times. Years of long distance, a global pandemic, lockdowns, quarantines, even being detained and sent back. We make the notebook look like child's play. <laughs> but it was your commitment, your strength and steadfastness, and in the face of adversity, that was the glue that held us together. I love that we did that. I love that every step back was nothing more than a speed bump that could slow but never stop us from being together. Eventually, all roads would lead to being together. I love wins. We're battle tested, equipped for life's challenges as a married couple. I promise to always laugh with you, those big, deep belly laughs we have so often over the smallest of things. I promise to always be by your side and support you in everything that you do, golf included. <laughs> I promise to be the best, best mother to our children that I can be. I vow to defend and fight for you, to make your pain my pain, your happiness my happiness, to keep you safe and secure. Above all, I vow to love you for the rest of my days. And last but not least, I promise to love you every single day as I now know what it means to truly love someone unconditionally. <laughs> Never was an early riser Used to be an up all night Never saw the morning light Quite like I do now Didn't used to know how fast time Walks and runs and flies by I never thought I'd feel so deeply But damn, I do It's the way you're smiling at me It's in the way you hold my hand It's the way I've watched you change me From a boy into a man It's a million things about you And I don't know We would be miles apart, thousands and thousands of miles apart, only communication, FaceTime, and, and nothing ever was easy in those last two years. And there is zero people that would have done that with me on the planet besides you. And I can honestly say that I, I love what we've become. I love watching that video back and knowing that there's no one else out there for me. It's you and only you. It's the way you're smiling at me It's in the way you hold my hand It's the way I've watched you change me From a boy into a man It's a million things about you And I don't know what it is But I've never known a love like this I've never known Love like 
this. One of the most special traits we have is the ability to live passionately, get upset, get pissed that we've lost, but five minutes later, I love you, babe, smack on the bum, or in Morgan's, or in Morgan's case, a finger. Always, 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 always. <laughs> Gotta be on guard around Morgan. Walk, watch, walk around with clenched cheeks. I've always said over the years, you know, imagine, imagine your kids meeting someone that lives in Sydney or Perth, and look what I cop, Utah. <laughs> Steve, I love the fact that you enjoy and respect our Australian culture and lifestyle. You fit in with people and have a strong, kind aura about yourself. I started coming to Australia about 13 years ago now. And I fell in love immediately with the culture here, the people, the banter, the food, you name it. like everyone in the room to raise their glasses and make a toast to the most genetically blessed people on this bloody planet. <laughs> to Morgan and Steve! <laughs> so, Stephen and Morgan, today is your big day. We're so happy and so excited for you and we know there's lots of really fun and good and happy times in store and we just wish you a lifetime of the best that can be. And I just want to give you my love too in that um, you both have a very happy life together and we're grateful for this day. We love you. Hope to see you soon. Unconditional love, that's a truly an amazing bond between two people. And Steve experienced that for the first time 24 years ago when I was born. <laughs> and so... It's nice, it's nice for the pressure to be off of me for a while. Interrupt our program to bring you this important message. This was 
my favorite song that I learned. I felt like a true blue Aussie. Jack, Jack, get back here. You have never heard this song with true Aussies, so you gotta, you gotta hear it with the Australians. That's so 